Hey, good afternoon. This is me again, Grace Room Care Digo K. Uh, at this time, this afternoon, I'm cooking some traditional Nigerian food. I'm making a goosey, a goosey soup. There are so many different ways to make a goosey, but I'm just going to show you the simplest, easiest way to cook a goosey. Even when your guest has already arrived, you can make this in a very super quick way. So what is a goosey? A goosey is a pumpkin-like seed. As you can see in the bag, it's just like pumpkin seed. It's uh, from a, a family, like a melon seed type of thing, like a melon family. Okay, so in this state, the egusi gets ground down into powder form in a coffee grinder or put it in, uh, give it a good rinse, put it in food processor or a blender, a liquidizer and grind, grind it down into paste. So that's one way of uh, processing or preparing the egusi to this stage. So today I've put one full cup of the ground egusi. It's kind of powdery. It's not in any paste at all. I can make this into a paste with some blended onion with a little bit of liquid to make it into a paste and put it straight in the pan. So uh, first thing first, I've got the, the pan on the hob. I have some uh, chicken and uh, beef. I mean, sorry, some mutton in there cooking. It's not beef. Okay, so part of the meat that I already parboil, I've put it in this pan. So you don't have to start from that stage of parboiling your meat, your chicken, or you could just put fish in this. And if you're vegetarian, that could just be a vegetarian delight. And in fact, I used to serve a goosey as a vegan or vegetarian with panda jam or any of the other fufu in my restaurant some years back. And I have a following of vegan and vegetarian coming back over and over. They never come without asking for a goosey when they get in the restaurant. So today we have the goosey for a kick. We're going to add one scotch bonnet pepper and one uh, red pepper. We blend them together. And I have frozen spinach. You can use any African vegetable. You have kalaloo. You can use kale, you can use spinach, baby spinach, that's my favorite. And also, you can combine three, four different vegetables. You can use ugu. Ugu is another Nigerian vegetable that is very, very rich in iron. As well, they're all rich in iron because they're green leaves. And also rich in your calcium, your potassium, and your magnesium. So if you're eating lots of vegetables, you can be assured that you're getting all of your some, not all, of your trace element uh, from day to day. So your vegetable go in there and also I have some dry fish here which is going to go in the pan. So um, to speed up the process, I'm going to put the pepper in the blender with a bit of liquid, pour it in with the meat and the stock so they get cooking ahead of time. So this is what I do. There is a blender here and just going to use one of this and also one of this if you don't have any of this pepper you can just use uh chili butter chili cracked chili you know or ground chili just add it to the stock and get going so i'm going to add some liquid a little bit of liquid and again there is no add and fast through into how much liquid you can add because this we cook and reduce down so nicely, you know, why it's in there. And a goosey is a kind of thickener in itself. So it's going to thicken up what you're cooking. So no worries about the liquid being too much or too little. And of course, if it's too little, you can add more liquid to what you're cooking. Okay, so... In here, maybe, and that's it, all blended, just the two in there. And 
little bit more of the liquid just rinse the pepper off and pour it in there we go okay so this is what it's looking like at the moment let's move this out the way Okay, so we let that simmer for a few minutes. There. Okay. At this stage, I can also add that dry fish I told you about. There is the fish. There. And the bowl. Just cut it down. I mean, just open the pack. Okay. And... In here and a good rinse in the um, tap just run some uh, clear water through in there okay just drain that off nicely you can use a colander to drain this because there are very tiny pieces of fish but I've done this <laughs> over and over so I don't need the colander right now <coughs> excuse me that's uh, scotch bonnet pepper straight in my throat so basically scotch bonnet is very 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 spicy but it's full of flavor I'll choose it any day above pot side okay so this is what we have now. That's what it's looking like. Look at that. I'm going to take the bay leaf out. That was from boiling the meat. Okay. Since we're going to add some uh, spinach into this, you don't want to be... Um, confused of which one is spinach which one is bay leaf of course bay leaf is very hard uh, to chew okay so we are now sure that it's going to be spinach uh, anything that is going in here will just be spinach it won't be anything else to chew okay so we let it cook for a few minutes and then we um, put the agusi in um i can actually put the agusi in now and add every other ingredient and just give it time to cook and finish up okay so there we are there's not the uh, agusi so this is the agusi uh, just gently pour it in just one cup of the agusi in there. And something that is worth uh, mentioning is once you put the agusi in, just leave it there. Don't stir it. Now I'm just adding some palm oil. You can also add some dry mushroom. Soak it first, of course, to rehydrate or um, use fresh mushroom. So. I'm going to put a lid on this and just let it do its own thing. Okay, there we go. And this is what it's looking like at the moment. Have a quick peel. Look at that. That is what you expect when you're cooking a goosey. Okay, so a goosey at the most will take about 10 minutes to cook. You can cook it, you can leave it on the slow and let it cook gently and reduce down nicely without the risk of it burning in there. So that is what we are aiming for. We just leave it there for a few minutes and come back to add the spinach. <coughs> Yeah. 
So the egusi is at this stage right now, guys. Look at it. Look at the depth of color. Flavor is there. And I'm going to add one more ingredient before I throw in this thing. So the ingredient I'm adding right now is the crayfish, which has been cleaned. Why is there any other thing that I don't like? Maybe I'm, so, I'm just so fussy. So you can add this as grand crayfish or whole. Good wash if you're using the whole crayfish before you add it in. And there we go. Let's see it um, blend in. Just mix it together. And that should be ready in a couple of minutes. Okay, and we will throw in. I <laughs> will throw in the spinach. Okay, as I said, you can use any other vegetables. You can, like this is frozen spinach, already defrosted. You can use the uh, baby spinach and also some ugu, a forte tech, the green vegetables, the Nigerian collection of vegetables are huge. You can use a combination of them, one of them, two, three of them. You can use spring green, you can use kale, baby spinach, and also kalaloo, and um, bitter leaf also. It's a good addition to egusi. Uh, bitter leaf is very bitter from the name, but it leaves a sweet taste in your mouth. Many people from the older generation loves Italy. Okay, so I'm just going to use spinach in this one today. So you can always add to your own taste. And of course, the mushroom, or oh, I'm not using mushroom today. Okay, so we're ready. The uh, spinach is ready to go in. I'm going to turn this fire down because it's going to be spitting in my face and everywhere. So let's reduce the heat. Good job. The induction hub is very quick to react. You know, if you turn it down, it goes down. If you turn it out, it goes on instantaneously. So, but because this pan that I'm using today, they retain a lot of heat, you know. So, that's another reason that I need to turn this down. Because it's all, all bling, boo, 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 boo. Okay. Let's calm down a little bit. Now, let's just add the spinach. Okay, hope you can see what I'm doing here and what the goosey is looking like as well. This is one pack, one kilogram of spinach, uh, frozen spinach from the supermarket. You can pick spinach from any store of your choice. I always prefer vegetables to be organic. You can basically use what you've got. So this is what the egusi looks like when it's blended with the spinach. And you can serve this with pandedian, with fufu, any kind of fufu. Uh, traditionally, in Nigeria cuisine, uh, egusi goes very well with pandedian. Yam that is being pounded. Nowadays, there are power. So, you can serve your egusi with anything you like with white rice you can even put it with pasta if you want you know or you can eat it on its own egusi is a very good um, product in terms of quality fat you know it's in the class of the pumpkin seed seed variety so um, 
at the same time because of the fat content though very good it can be fattening however everything in moderation you can liken egusi to the oily fish oil that's what i'm trying to say or oh, like your avocado your almond you know and all of the seed okay so it's all done it's finished and at this stage you can also adjust seasoning especially if you think it needs a bit more seasoning you can add it and the joy of this is it's only vegetables so i've switched the fire off and because there's liquid in it and it's just vegetable you can add more seasoning and mix it all up okay so should we have the taste test let's see mm -hmm. it's looking your malicious Mm. it's delicious thank you guys for watching this is the end of the cooking for today i'm going to serve it into a dish and show you the outcome in a plate It's the end of the cooking guys and my egusi and spinach is ready some dry fish some crayfish and of course some mutton you can use any type of meat as i said or just fish and enjoy to your art content god bless you thank you guys for watching uh, my video please don't forget to subscribe and come back and watch more of what I have in store. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. It's me, Grace Ronke Adegoke. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.